Hi, welcome back. Um, I don't know if the lighting is really bad in this one, but I filmed my July favorites and I went to edit it and the lighting was like horrible and I sounded like a man and I'm still, for some reason, my voice sounds funny. Um, <laughs> and now I'm wearing the same shirt I was wearing when I filmed like six videos before I left. So I'm still on vacation, but I'm sitting outside in Michigan. I wish I could like show you how gorgeous it is out here. There you go. This is like a hammock stand in my way. But um, I am in Michigan, and it's gorgeous here. The weather is great. Um, and I just got this really cute headband when I was shopping today. So this is one of my new favorites. And then these little hair tie things are my new favorite thing. Um, because, you know, you can use them as a hair tie and then you can just use them as bracelets and they come in like all fun neon colors. Uh, wow, I just stuck my nose in. Okay, so I'm going to refill my July favorite. So, July is over, welcome to August. Um, for the record, I just heard that, um, Great Lash, Maybelline Great Lash is coming out with colored mascara. Can I get a what what? I need to buy some of that. Let me make sure nobody's watching me from my family, okay, because I don't want to embarrass myself, even though they'll, they could watch this video, potentially. Okay, so some of my favorite things to be done and worn in July. These Neutrogena Hydrating Towelettes for makeup remover towelettes. I used Neutrogena other ones before. These say they cleanse and remove makeup and condition and soothe the skin. They really do. It doesn't leave your face slimy, but it leaves it like hydrated. Almost like you put lotion on after you wipe your makeup off. I like the smell of these better than the regular Neutrogena ones. And I like the way they make my skin feel. They actually feel better taking off my eye makeup than anything else. So I use these first. Then I take off whatever eye makeup I couldn't get off with eye makeup remover. And then I wash my face. I know, a lot of steps, but I really like these. And sometimes if I'm lazy, I just use okay, these. Okay, I know you guys are going to think like I never take a shower, but I swear I do. I swear I do. But I really like dry shampoo because you can take a shower and like sometimes you just don't feel like going through the whole process of washing your hair. So you're just going to, you know, wash your undercarriage and all your bits and pieces and then just spray a little bit of dry shampoo on you. I really like this one from Suave. It's a great price and... Um, ch -ch -ch and you know, I said it before, sometimes I use dry shampoo, like even when my hair's clean, because it lightens up my roots, which I don't know if you can tell, but I need to get them done. Don't judge me though, because I'm on vacation. Okay, another thing I've been loving is, oh, I didn't get it out, bronzer from Benefit, um, the Dallas bronzer. It's, it's under, propping up my camera, so I can't get it out, but Dallas bronzer from Benefit. I love it. No, they're not watching me. Um, it gives like a terracotta tone to your face and I just really love the pinkish brown tones in it. You can use it as a blush or a bronzer. I use it for both. I love it in the summer because it really enhances your natural tan and it makes you, you're not like, hello, she's wearing bronzer. I'm using so. it every single day in July and probably in June too. And possibly I had it for a long time, but I just rediscovered it in my collection. Okay, love Revlon Color Stay Cream Whipped Foundation. Foundation. Wait, something like that. Love this stuff. I'm in the color 200 Sand Beige. Um, the smell, if you can get past it, it's a great foundation. Um, the smell is a little bit plasticky, but I really, really love the foundation. It stays all day. I never have to touch up my makeup. Um, I found for the most even application, I use like a Real Techniques buffing brush, and then I just go over it with my hand. Oh, can I get a what what? I got my ring back on. So I'm officially married again. I mean, I was always married, but I got too fat for my ring, but I finally can get it on. And let's ignore that my finger is spilling out over it. I mean, just ignore that. But the thing is, um, Mel from Mel MPHS, um, her YouTube, that's her YouTube name. Um, but Melissa, she recommended this Dream Lumi Highlighting Concealer in Radiant. I love it. Uh, it's just such a light color for under the eyes and you just go ahead put it on a triangle under your eyes and then I use um, a Real Techniques foundation brush and I just kind of dot it in. Love this stuff. It really brightens up um, and then also if I'm doing an eye sometimes at the end I like clean it up by just putting a little bit of that there like she recommended and then just kind of dabbing it in. Dab it. 
Okay, um, these Revlon kiss, Just Bitten Kissable Lip Stains. Okay, these Revlon Just Bitten Kissable Lip Stains. This is in Sweetheart. It is the perfect, like, pink color. Um, I love these. They stay on all day. What I've really been loving is just putting like Sin from Urban Decay all over my lid and then a really thick heavy winged eyeliner and then just this. Um, I love the bright pop on the lips. So any bright lipstick you have, but I really love these because they stay I mentioned out. it, but I've been using the Urban Decay Naked Palette, the original, like all month. So what I've really, a combination I've really been loving is Half Baked, which is the gold color. And then I've been using like Dark Horse and Smog on, in the inner corner. Um, I put, sometimes I'll put Sin all over my lid and I'll mix like Sin and Virgin together, put that all over my lid and then put toasted in the crease and then hustle in the outer corners so I've just really been liking that like a bra any type of bronze eye sometimes I'll use Maybelline's um, bold gold color tattoo eyeshadow and put bold gold all over and then put half baked over it and then like smoke it out with um, one of the the brown colors in there and I just love this the bronze look I just think it really flatters um, a tan and I just really like it for the summer so and then I've been using this MAC um, eye coal in Teddy which is just like a brown you can't probably see it but it has it's like a brown coppery color with with a little bit of glitter in it um, I really like it uh, I just got it recently and um, I've been using it uh, in my waterline and on my upper lash line when I do a bronze eye and I really like that look. Okay, another thing I've been loving, um, we don't have Julie G nail polishes in Michigan, but I got this Julie G nail polish. This is like an orange neon sherbet color. Uh, it's not even picking up on camera, but it's in uh, 9 to 5. And I had this on my nails in my in my video I filmed prior I should like put a clip of that video in maybe at the end I'll put a clip of that video and you can see why I'm redoing it because I looked really fat in that video because the camera was like coming up at me like this and it was like no me gusta so that's why I'm refilming because I just don't want to look fat but maybe I'll enter a clip in at the end so you can see but anyways I love 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 this color and I, I think I got a few more like bikini which is a neon color it's on my toes but I don't want to show you my feet no, I considered it for a second there. I don't know if you saw. I paused. I was like, maybe I should just lift my foot up, but I don't think I'm going to. Okay. I have like an itchy face. Anyways, I really love this color. I love these nail polishes. I got a bunch. Um, you can get them at Rite Aid and Julie G. I guess she's a girl from YouTube. I watch her channel, but um, great nail polishes. This one is very opaque, and I like okay, it. Another thing is I love this EOS shave cream. Ooh in Vanilla Bliss. This is like an ultra moisturizing paraben free with natural aloe and shea butter. This is like a lotion you can shave wet or dry with it. Um, it just comes in this little like pump top lotion thing. It smells so good and it leaves your skin really soft and I just really like this as opposed to shaving cream. I don't like shaving cream and I think I said it like in my last video like I don't think I buy Skin to Mint again because I want to try this. So I tried it and I really like this so I've been loving it. This like might not count for July favorites because I've only been using it for like two weeks. But can you forgive me? Yeah. Okay, you my last three things are a lip combo because <sighs> everyone knows I love lip combos. Um, okay, one of my favorite colors is Mac Impassioned, and I wear that all the time. But I have been going for a little bit subtler, more subtle, subtler, more subtle look. Um, just with some of my lip colors, I've been like playing up my eyes too. Um, and then if I want to go for the bold lip, I've been using the, the Revlon Just Bitten Lip Stain this month. But these are the combos that I have liked. I really love Viva Glam Nikki. I think it is just the perfect summer color. So if you don't have it, you need to get it. It's just a gorgeous, like, corally yellow-pink shade. Um, let me just put, swatch it for you. Probably have all seen it. I just like how you can... It's right here. Just like how you can wear it on its own or you can wear it with something else and um, it's just such a pretty color because you can stain your lips or you could wear it really opaque 
or you can um, put a gloss over it and change the color. When I when I like to change the color, I use this orange tempura gloss from Mac, the Set and Sail or Hey Sailor, Set and Sail collection. Wow, awesome. Um, this is like the perfect little nudie color. It's very opaque, and I love it. Um, there it is, right there. Um, I'm gonna look for Shannon if you're watching Shanny Banny. I'm gonna look for this for you. So, no fear. I hope I can find it. But um, this is just the perfect gloss. I love it because it like changes the color. I'm wearing it right now over Love Lorne, which is in my favorites too. But anyways, I really like it. The only thing is, after you put it on, it kind of separates a little bit. So I don't know about wearing it on on its on its own because it might settle into your fine line. So if you have really wrinkly lips, I'm not quite sure about how it would look on you. But I really like it. It's really creamy and I haven't had any problems with it. So... That's the story. Okay, the last lipstick is Love Lorne. It's just, it's a luster. And I did my friend Joanna's makeup and I put this color on her and she loved it. And I realized how much I loved it too. But it's just an easy color to throw on for me. Um, it's really light and it's perfect for every day. So there's Love Lorne right there. You guys want to see the embarrassing amount of lipsticks that I packed? right here. I might edit in from my other video because I featured um, Pink Nouveau. That has been a favorite of mine. Pink Nouveau with um, Philosophy's Pink Frosted Animal Cracker Lip Gloss over it, which I think I featured similar combo in like my Rave of the Week, Product Rave of the Week. So, Anyways, Pink Nouveau is the other color that I've been wearing a lot, and it's just a bright pink color, and I just love it for the summer because you can wear a pop of pink on your lips. So, anyways, those are just my swatches again. Favorites this month is this blush from MAC in Supernova. It's in the Heavenly Creatures Mineralized um, collection that they just released. It's like a really pretty pink color with a gold... Um, piping in it. Um, I don't know if you can see that, but it comes off beautiful on the cheeks and I'm not kidding you. You only need a little bit of this and I put it on with a stifling brush and it just deposits the prettiest co color ever. So this is one of my favorites this month. Max Pink Nouveau and it is a darker pink. Here, let me swatch them next to each other. Pink Nouveau looks great on the lips. Um, and I got the gloss that goes over it in Pink Nouveau, and, um, this is Pink Nouveau, and that's Love Lorne. So this is a lot sheer. This is a more opaque cover. But everyone knows that my favorites are, like, corals. I like to watch, wear corals and reds. Like, wouldn't this outfit look good with, like, boom, shakalaka, some red on my lips? Probably. So I think I might do that. Yeah, I might wear red, but I'm not going anywhere tonight, because we've been out all day, so... Maybe not, but I may wear this headband again with some red lips. What do you think? But not this shirt because apparently I wear this in every video, so sorry about that. Okay, so that is my July favorites. Um, I hope you guys are finding August well, and I'm really sorry that I've kind of been like a little bit behind in like commenting on all my favorite people's videos, but I'm really going to be trying to catch up and stuff. I'm just trying to enjoy my family vacation and not like be watching a ton of videos and like taking away from that because, um, I don't know, sometimes I feel like I get distracted by like trying to keep up, trying to keep up. And I think I got a few new subscribers, so hello, welcome to the party. I'll talk to y'all later. Have a great day, bye.